What is up, guys? It is Nundark and Kevin here, who loves Pokemon. You've seen her three times now on the channel, and every time she gets more excited. Hates Pokemon. But what I have for you here is the spookiness of Gengar and the 2024 Trick or Trade Boo Stir Bundle. Emphasis on the Boo. This is 35 packs of the 30 card mini set that they drop every, that the Pokemon company drops every Halloween. What we always do is buy a bunch of these and let the kids in the neighborhood pick between packs of Pokemon cards and candy. By the end of the night, it always just turns into grab both. Um, we don't need them, but every year we crack into one of these and we see if we can make a master set of all 30 cards with one of these booster bundles. Now in 2022 and 2023, we did that pretty easily. So I do think that it's guaranteed more or less guaranteed to happen in one booster bundle. So what I want this time is for everyone to take a guess on how many packs it takes for us to make that 30 card master set. There are 10 hollows, there are 20 non hollows. And from what I've read, um, I believe on pokebeach.com is that the Darkrai, the Chandelure, the Gengar, those are all back fan favorites, always in these uh, trick or trade, you know, reprints. Um, and those are the rarest. There are only one or two Darkrai and Chandeliers per uh, booster bundle pack. So it's all about when we pull those. But every pack, so there's 35 packs in here. There's three cards per pack. And they are all reprints from the last year's sets. So cards within the last 365 days are eligible to be in this. And they're often those spooky kind of ghost psychic type Pokemon and Pikachu's always in there, but all these reprinted cards have the little Pikachu pumpkin stamp in the corner of the artwork. And this year introduces Cosmos hollow foil patterns to those 10 hollow cards. So let me know in the comments uh, how many packs you think it takes us. We're gonna crack into these, give the rest uh, leftovers to the kids. And my guess is 18 packs. I think in 18 three card packs, we're going to pull all 30 cards. We will see. That is my guess. I'll flip you over here and let's get to mastering this set. All right. Let's get after it. Pull the tray out. Man, it really does not matter what the Pokemon product is. It is always so fun to see packs of Pokemon cards. They're super skinny. They actually kind of remind me of like the seven card Japanese booster packs, a lot thinner than the, uh, or like the celebrations packs. But yeah, I mean, they're just, there's tons in here. So we'll go in order and see how many it takes to master this set. I'm very curious to see which Pokemon uh, are in here that are new or come as a surprise. There's always those um, standards like Haunter, Gengar, Mimikyu, Pikachu. But I do wonder if there's like the three starters from the Scarlet and Violet era. Sprigatito, Quaxley, and Fuecoco. I don't think there's a pack trick. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so there is a one card pack trick. I literally in the intro video said that... The Darkrai was, according to Poke Beach, the rarest card, and there's only one or two per 35 packs, and we pulled it in the first pack. So that is awesome. We're gonna put the hollows on this page to the left, and then we're just gonna start filling. Uh, this is one through 10, and then this will be non hollows over here. That is crazy that we have the Dark Rye in the first pack. Haunter, Gengar. Okay, so there is a hollow per pack. You are guaranteed one hollow per pack in Houndstone. Okay, so let's see how many packs until we start pulling duplicates. Very fun nonetheless. Pack three. Hound Doom, such a cool artwork. Mimikyu and Grievered. 
We're getting some big big boys out of the way, I feel like. I can't wait for the Pikachu. I am a master Pikachu set, a master set Pikachu collector. So I will be keeping an additional one, or probably the one from this, to myself. Okay. Gorgeist, Houndour, and Fluttermane. And that is of the ancient variety from like Paradox Rift. And Temporal Forces. That kind of gimmick, the ancient and future. So there's our hollow there. That is pack four. So far, we have no duplicates. Pack five, I guess 18 packs to have 30 unique cards bindered. There we go. Okay, so we do have the starters, or at least one of them, Quaxley. Umbreon, man, that's so cool. So cool. And Sinistra. A matcha Pokemon. So like a drink. Oh, so is it Sinistra? Maka? Okay, so that is our fifth hollow. We'll put these out of the camera now that we're starting to get deep in this. Still have not pulled a single duplicate. That's crazy through five packs. There we go. Oh my lord, is that pretty. So we have the Iron Jugulus, the Pumpkaboo. It's clever. And then look at this. Look at, oh my lord, this one is all mine. Look at that Cosmo swirl above the Pikachu pumpkin stamp. Wow. That is awesome. So cool. No sarcasm behind that either. Actually stoked about that. And still, oh, there we go. Okay, our first duplicate. Now we got to start paying attention is the Iron Jugulus, that is our first duplicate. All right, now I need to start remembering packs. So that was pack six. So once we start pulling duplicate hollows, I will lose track. We're already six of the 10 hollows in. Okay, now seven of the 10 hollows in. We got a Ghastly, we have an Okidori, Hollow pattern is so dope. Cosmos just really did it, huh? And then Sprigatito, there we go. Second start. So no duplicates here either. So throw those two guys over there. And now we are through seven packs and we have seven hollows. That's incredible. Still waiting for that chandelier. Oh, wow. Look at that pheasantipity. Try to get the hollow. Oh yeah, look at that hollow pattern. Pheasantipity, Poltergeist, and Haunter. So Haunter is a duplicate. Poltergeist rounds out the first page of non-hollows, and this gives us our eighth straight unique hollow. I wonder if they do that on purpose here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. This can't this can't be a coincidence. Here's Monkey Dory, which is our ninth unique hollow. And Houndoom is a duplicate. And then we will need to go to the next page for Trevenant. Alright, so if I were a betting man, which I just might be, in this pack, there will be the tenth hollow that we need. So in pack number 10, we should get all the hollows. I stand corrected. Okay, now the game is on, folks. The game is on. We have our second 
Sinicha, I will never figure out how to pronounce that, Phantop and Houndor, all of which are... Okay, we did not have the Phantop. So... 12, 24, we need six cards on this page. So we're missing only five cards, you guys, and we've only opened four, eight, we've only opened 10 packs. So pack 11. Eighteen just might be spot on. Quaxley again. Umbreon again. Ooh, and hollow number 10, teal mask. Ogre Pond with the swirl right above the Pikachu. And I'm not a huge fan of the Ogre Ponds. That was from Twilight Masquerade. Wow, so Umbreon was Obsidian Flames. That's over a year old. Eh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's over a year old. It was like August of 23. Okay, so maybe it does take cards from just over a year old. All right, so in our 11th pack, we do have all the hollows and all this. So now we need to pull non-hollows. Let's see. Four more non-hollows that we have not yet seen. And now we got now the hard part's going to be remembering what pack we're on. So that was pack 11. This is pack 12. Another Dark Rye. Okay. All right, here's one of the cards we needed Litwick. And then Screamtail is a duplicate. So this is pack 12. Now we're only missing three cards. I should be able to know when I see it if it's something we haven't seen yet. It's pack 13. Lampert. Wow, we don't have a we don't have this. We don't have a Lampert. Wait a minute. Do we have a chandelure? No, we don't. We do not have a chandelure, you guys. So is that a non-hollow rare? And it's one of the last two cards we need. Wait a minute. Okay, and if we have two Dark Rise, two Gengars, and two of these, we should be at. So this will be pack 14. Pack 14, I think one of the two cards we need is a Chandelure. Another Mimikyu. Oh, there it is, Chandelure. Okay. One, two, three, four, dupes, plus 10. So yeah, we've, we're through 14 packs and there's the Chandelure. We are missing one card. And this is pack 15. Fue Coco, yeah. This is the final starter. Okay, oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. It's from Paradox Rift. Okay, Flutterman and Gorgeist. Okay, so let's put these in because the rest will go to the kids. All right, so that was 15 packs. If you guessed 15 packs, you were spot on. Um, and I honestly am probably going to give one lucky kid tomorrow, uh, trick or treating this master set. Um, I do have 2022 and 2023s, so maybe I'll save it, um, for my kids, but we'll figure out something to do with this. It is kind of cool to look at all the cosmos foils. I'll give you one kind of final look at all the look at that Pikachu with the dual swirls 
That Pikachu is so clean. Yeah, okay. And then just to confirm, is this chandelier a non-hollow rare? Yes. So it is a non-hollow rare, that black star. And there are the three starters in it. Okay, cool. 15 packs it took. If you guessed 15 packs, pat on the back for you.